Here's all the cards. Six deck blackjack. Dealer stands on all 17s. No surrender. Blackjack pays three to two. Shoe number two of one half up versus flat betting. One half up is a positive progressive system where you increase your wager by a half of your base bet every time you win. So if you're using a single unit, or like we do, we use a single unit. Start with one, when you win, you go up to one and a half. When you win, next win you go up to two, then to two and a half, then to three, three and a half, four, etc. Every time you lose, you start the cycle over uh, at your base bet of one unit. And there's two different ways to use this um, system or two different approaches that I've found. One is where you get, get into your progression after the first win. So you bet one, you win, your next bet's one and a half, you win, your next bet is two, etc. The other way is where you don't start the progression until you have two consecutive wins. So you bet one, you win, you bet one again, you win, and then you go, if you win that one, you go up um, to one and a half, two, two and a half, etc. Okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll have three positions set out, the flat better, the one win uh, uh, position, and the two win position. Okay? Uh, this is different than, this is, this is one half up. This is different than up by half or up by 50%, which is where you increase your wager by uh, half of whatever you won. Okay, so on that one you win, the, 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 you, you start with a base bet of one unit and you win, your next bet would be one and a half, because you won one, so half of that one, and then one and a half. Then the next one, if you win the one and a half, you would go up by half of that one and a half, so, you know, 0.75. Okay, so it doesn't, that, that's a little trickier to do in, in terms of units. If, if you start looking at it in, in dollar amounts, you, you, get, you want to try to stick with an even dollar amount as much as possible. So you would want to do that one at like, if you did it at 8, it actually works pretty good. Because you go 8, you go up by 4 to 12, go up by 6 to 18, up by 9 to 27. Um, and then half of 27, half of 27 would be 13 and a half. So you could probably just round that to 40. And then you can kind of keep going from there. And, you know, if you, you, you can come up with other creative ways to do it if you to, to continue from there. Uh, if you're so lucky to have uh, such a long winning streak that it just keeps going and going. Good luck with that. Um, you know, for us, though, we're going to do it with... Um, you know, that's not what we're doing. We're doing up by half or up by half of your base unit. So, you know, if you're playing... Um, five dollars. First bet's five bucks. You know, going through the progression, then it's seven fifty, then to ten, then to twelve fifty, to fifteen. It can some places are may not let you play that two dollar and fifty cent uh, kind of thing. So you may need to go to like six dollars. Um, doing it at, at six dollars, just go six, nine, um, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, etc. And then, and then you just drop back down to what your new base unit is of, of six dollars. So you know you can do it, but you know I'm still going to do one unit and then deal with one and a half. And I also have um, stuff out here to represent quarter units in the event that you are on a, you know, like one and a half or two and a half, and you get the blackjack. You're going to need that. Okay. So it's a fairly simple system. Not too much to keep track of. It's a ever so slightly trickier if you're going to play 
where you need two consecutive wins because you'll have to kind of track somehow. Um, you know, did you already win the hand before this one? And so now you start your progression or or, or is this your first win in a row? So I have a way that, that uh, on here you'll see it, assuming that you get any wins at all. Uh, to, to, that, that I keep track. You know, the way I'm doing it too, I can also kind of use the, the one win player to, to see if, if uh, we're in the progression because he will he would be at one and a half when the, did I strip these? When the, um, when the two win player is at its second, getting his second win. You'll see, you'll see. I don't want to co confuse you too much. It, because it's actually not complicated. Anyways, getting there here. Um, you know, if you're new, I always show all the cards. I always show the complete shuffle procedure to show that all the cards are here. It's not like I left out all the eights or something like that. I would never do that. The eight's the most important card in the deck. Um, but also to show you that, I, that I'm that i actually shuffling the cards and I'm not like setting them up in some particular way to try to convince you to play my, to play this system. As a lot of you know, I'm not trying to influence you, just trying to give some education. So if you wanna play by this system or any system or no system, That's all up to you. Um, by the way, this is this the whole thing is played by perfect basic strategy. Uh, I forgot to bring that in. Hopefully, I won't need it. If I need it, I can run out and get it real fast. And if you're like Samson Kane, it'll only take half the time. Ha ha. Right, almost there okay we're gonna rack that up we will cut the deck bring it around we look for 75 percent 75 80 percent penetration which has consistently given us at least 45 hands playing heads up against the dealer no reason really not to expect that to continue so we'll have the flat better here we'll have the the two win player here we'll have the one win player there um, did I say every each position starts with 50 units? So I put those out there really quick, so you can see that nobody got shortchanged. Okay, run those off. There. Actually, I like it there for this one, and. Here we go. I do, by the way, keep track of the number of hands that we play. Do that over here on the side, and I let you know about every 10. They're about, oops, everybody starts with a base bet of one unit. And here we go. Hopefully, you get these going pretty quick. Uh, 14 will, oops, will hit and bust. No need to keep track of a loss column like on a negative progressive system or some of the negative progressive systems. The only thing to track is for this player um, when he's had that first win. 7, 11, 21, 6, 13. You don't want the 8 now, right? The 8's the spoiler. Remember, I, I left the 8's in. I didn't take them out. Oh, what is that? Uh, 13? No, that's uh, 15. And 17. But you still win. You're just looking to not push. Those are quarters, but they represent half units. A little see. So then, what I do? I think you can see it. I have a, a white stack of chips for the singles, and I have the red and the blue, which are fives and tens. And then when I get a win, I put the white chip on top of there to help, help remind me that. We've already won a hand there. Now again, I can look at here and go, oh, this one's at one and a half, so we must already be in the progression. 
or must have already won one. But just, to, you know, if that wasn't here, it's another way to maybe try to keep track. You're responsible for that at the table. Twelve hits, twenty, nineteen. There, gonna give you some halves there now, and one and a half there. So now, this player moves into the progression. I could take that off of there, or else I'll for probably forget to. Um, this player now moving up to two units. Pair of eights, that's an easy split. This one first, 18, it's good. This one, pair of eights again, split them again. I let you do that. Uh, I gotta give you some change. Two units there, so we're here. 19, that stands, this one. 19, that's good, let's see what you got. Let's see what we got. 16, 17, wins all around. Let's see, so we got one. I'm gonna put them in front, because I don't have the space. Supposed to, they're supposed to be issued up at the side, but I don't, like I said, I don't have enough room for that. One, two, one, one, one and a half. He's giving me change. Okay. Um, all three won in, in splits and double downs, uh, or mostly in splits. It's what the net result is on, on whether you move up or, or if, if you win, if let's say you just had a regular split with two hands, win one, lose one, that's a push. It's just a repeat of the bet. Um, in this one, let's say if, when you have um, double split, if you lose two and win one, well, you still down one. So that would be a loss. Um, you would end your progress in, in, in a positive progressive, you would end your cycle. Uh, if you win two and lose one, well, you still are up one as a net result. We would, we would call that continue to moving um, through the progression. Now this is a multiple win, but you're only still gonna go up by a half of a unit. You don't, you you could do it your way. The way we do it is you just go up by a half. So these bets of one and a half are gonna go to two. The bets of two are gonna go to two and a half. We're not gonna count it as one, two, three wins and go up by three halves for each. Not saying that you couldn't, just not what we're doing. So you get some bonus payments here, okay? Um, I'm just gonna clear the flat better, and then going. These are the this guys. That's how I should do it. Okay, so we're gonna get the flat better back in. This one is gonna go up to um, one and a half units. And this one's gonna go to two and a half units. Okay. You know, those are out of the box, so they don't count. All right, here we go. Ah, get to see the quarter units come out now. Let's see, so we got one and a half. That's two, so I need to change again. So that's two, bonus one. And that's two and a half, and so that would be um, half of two and a half is one and a quarter. So there's that, and that penny represents a quarter unit. Okay, I know. It, a, why doesn't a quarter represent a quarter unit? Well, because I've always been using quarters to represent half units. That's why. Sixteen for the dealer. Well, this has been a little uh, exciting. We're only five hands in. Um, this is going up to, again, just a regular half unit increment, or half up increment. Um, so there, two and a half, three, one. Twelve. 
20 stands 8 and um, brain's not working 17 I need some more change that, that can only mean only be mean good things for you it means you're winning I've got to always get change one that's uh, two and a half so I'm gonna give you three take half and that is um, three so I'll give you five and take two okay so this one now this is going to go up from two and a half to three this is going to go from three to three and a half and we're good much easier than some of the other systems trying to figure out the amount that needs to go out there uh, nice winning streak by the way uh, 16 hits now oh, I spoke too soon 26 and you start your cycle over now you did really well on that because you had double split uh, you had a double did you have a double down in there too 20 stands 12 21 uh oh going back to a, a typical casino table game here where the dealer where you can't win well, we don't want that but it's how the game goes insurance insurance closed no insurance it's not there 14 takes a card 22 pair of aces bullet Yo, 11. That's a double down. Let's just make sure there's no ace under there. There's not. Single card. 14. 19. Don't feel bad. First 10 hands. Sometimes you gotta suffer through losing streaks. Suffer through losing double downs that you should quote should have won. I mean an eleven to a ten is there's no guarantee on that. Twelve hits, twenty-two. Yeah, losing streak going on for sure here. I'm not, not sure how many it's been. I have a feeling if you were playing Martingale you'd be pretty much in trouble by now. You probably need to win this hand in Martingale. 14, 19, and for sure you'd have to win this one in Martindale, like that, I wasn't keeping track of how many, you can back up, you can, you can, you'd be able to tell, 18, good chance, uh, 10, 12, 13, what's the killer card, the 8, 16, there's the 8, Saved you this time. End of the losing streak. So how many was that? And whether that would have put you down, put you in big trouble for Martingale or not. So again, I offset that to show that we're in the that we're that we will go into the progression. Should you be fortunate enough to win this hand, twelve hits, nineteen, eleven, twenty-one which you are not, so then I move that off. Or we'll bring that out for the next wager. Fifteen. Too many. Twenty-five. Twenty. Fifteen stands. 14, 24. Oh, I gotta say, this is uh, kind of nice to just be doing a mostly regular system here than Stern or Fibonacci 12 stands where you get all these. I have to add do, do so much math on the chips. 20. So this is what I was saying um, on that last hand. So I just take this one and it pays there. Okay. 
when it's just win lose win lose or just a long losing streak half up is really no different from the flat better it's not until you you really start the progression so it will survive choppy action and um, long losing streaks better than the half up on a single win insurance insurance closed I was lazy I was supposed to span the whole thing Dealer Blackjack. All right, come on. Double down. Good luck. One card. 18. Not too bad. 15. 19. Not too bad, but not really that great either. Thirteen. Nineteen. Thirteen. Twenty-three. Let's get you going. Anyways, that's the next 10 hands. That's 20. Put that there. Bring this out here. Quick check. Not there. 14 hits. 21. Very nice. What's the card you don't want? That one's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we get into the progression here, and this one will go up to two units. 20 will stand to dealer 5, 15, 25. That's two. Okay, and this will go to two and a half. Get you a winning streak. Let's see what this thing can do. Twelve stands, dealer six. Seventeen. Dealer stands on all seventeens at this table. Starting over, single unit. 20, 14, 18. Marking that. Fifteen stands. Eight. 14, too many. Up, one half up. I almost said up by half, that would be different. It's confusing. It, it, I, I don't, I want to only call the other one up by 50%. I, I, I think it's better. This half, half is, it's confusing. 17 stands. 18. Check. Not there. 13. There it is. 21. 20. And marking that, and up by one half up, not up by half. 17 stands, 20. Moving right along, much, much faster. Not as much for me to talk about. This hand is just kind of a mediocre hand, if you ask me. 
it's not really great it's not really bad 10 doubles down 15 should split right 19 no 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 don't second guess the card do what it says do what it says just change your bets or play by another system I can't I gotta do I gotta double check this me I like to double down a nine to a seven but I'm pretty sure the card says not to this will just take a second sorry Let's see what it says. <clears throat> it says, I'm pretty sure, I think it's a stand because the seven is, is strong enough. Um, yeah, oh, it, no, I'm, not a stand, but not double down, just a hit. If you want to stand on that nine, I guess you could. But yeah, you're not supposed to double, to a six, of course, but to a seven and up, you're not supposed to. So just a regular hit, and that's exactly why. 13, so you can take another card and bust, right? No. <laughs> Um, 18, so you can win, win, win. You wouldn't have won. You would have lost if you had tried to double that down. And, you know, I, I knew that. Even, but I wanted to get the card just because I don't want to have to come back later and say, oh, I screwed up. Because somebody like uh, Jason Schneiderman, he'll catch me. When I, I, one of the, what was it, in Martingale maybe? 12 stands. 8, 18. I, what did I do? I split aces and I was talking too much and I got distracted and I went ahead and took an extra hit. It didn't actually change the outcome because I think I pulled the 10 and it just ended up being the same. Um, but he caught that. Good on him. And 13. 20, 18, but uh, you know, you could argue that it screwed up the flow of the cards a little bit, and I would tend to agree, but it just changed the shuffle a little bit. Um, I think that's a different effect than uh, what happens with Stern, where you don't play by basic strategy, or you deviate from basic strategy, and then you, you, you change the flow of the cards that way. And as we did in the stern, that's where I end up having to sometimes do two shoes. Well, I can just look because an 18 is not going to hit. 20. So we're getting into this choppy win-lose, win-lose, where the, the half up with two wins is playing exactly like a flat better, based, you know, the net result is. Whereas this one, the up by, um, when you start going up after just one win, that starts knocking you back a half a unit every time course if you start winning then you'll you'll win a little faster but we need you need that well here it is here's, or at least here's one in a row that makes one in a row one and a half one and a half one and a half anybody know that uh, country music song one in a row I've heard Willie Nelson sing it. One of those country songs that's like a lot of play on words. No, I'm not going to sing it for you. 20. 20. Push. So, you're still, uh, this doesn't change anything. Uh, you, you still have one win in your pocket, that, and then one more win, then you'll start the progression. Same thing here, you're, you're going to stick with the one and a half um, wager that you've already worked your way up to. It's as if it didn't happen. Oh, what is that? 13, 11, 15. Too many. I got you, don't worry. And this is going to go to two.
12 stands to dealer 4, 14, 16, 18. Oh, you gotta get a winning streak for these positive progressive systems to work. You can't just win a couple in a row. 14, I mean, sorry, 12 stands to dealer 4, 11, 20. And for just about any system to work, you eventually have to win. You can't just keep losing. But you'd say Martingale, you get there. The problem with Martingale, table limits, bankroll limits. More likely table limits, though. Uh, soft 14 hits, hard 14 hits again. 17, 12, 16, 20. Just like a real casino, you just can't win. But I want you to. I want you to. I've said this before in some of the other in one of the other series. You know, double down. Even though even on some of the systems that I didn't necessarily like, um, I still want them to do better because, like Fox Mulder, I want to believe that there is a way to beat the house through some sort of of, of betting system, some sort of strategy. Um, have we found it yet? I don't know. We haven't been able to run um, enough hands yet. That is an 18. But we're starting to, to get some insight at least into how these work. 16. Too many. Oops. Well, double downs always help. Always help. Well, win, winning double downs always help. I, I, I like to double down. I kind of like it more than getting a, a blackjack although obviously your blackjack is a little more secure um i like to double down um anyways that was another 10 hands so we're at 40 so this is showing us that one more win to start the progression and we're in the progression up to one and a half come on come on 13 oh it's like a real casino. You can't win. This is uh, this little felt here. It's getting kind of pilly. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Come on, twenty. You're gonna stand with that. Oh, eleven. That's never what you want to see. That helps a little. That makes twelve. Just enough. Just enough. So, like I said, there's one in a row. That makes one in a row. Come on, monkey, picture, face card. What do you like to call it? Yes, yes, you got it. And okay, gotta work this out. All right, so one. And a half, one and a half, one and a half, and half of one and a half is three quarters, which is right there. Well, not three quarters, a quarter and a penny, a half unit and a quarter unit. That's supposed to be straddling there, okay, eight. And now you can pay for your increase here. Um, this will come off. Up to two, one and a half, one. This is what, hand 44, so we're getting close. I have a feeling we'll get at least 45, we should. We haven't had too many splits and extended runs of cards. 16, 22. Well, I ran out of quarters, but that's okay. Give you two and take the half. And that's just two anyways. So this was one and a half, now it goes to two. This was two, now it goes to two and a half. And hand 45, so officially we made it, continuing to get at least 45 hands, playing heads up against the dealer. 14. Oh, I don't know, what's that, 17. 
punchy, not good enough. All right, starting over. Hand 46. You want it? Did you tip the dealer? Because if you don't tip the dealer, you don't get the face card. See, you didn't give me a tip. Go click on the ads, and that will um, make the cards come out better for you. Uh, for a soft 14 hits, um, well, look at that, 11. You'll stand with that. 15, too many. Hand 46 was a winner. Right there, here we go, hand 47. Did you tip me on that last one? Because I didn't put it in my box yet. Let's have a look. You didn't. You didn't tip the dealer again. Shame on you. Gives you a nice winning hand and nothing, huh? 19. 15, 18. Tip me this time, okay? You gonna, you gonna do it? Okay, so now we start the progression. And here's my, this is uh, this one's for the dealer, right? Pair of fours, you're not going to split that not to a queen or a ten of whatever it is. Uh, eight, fifteen, twenty, nineteen. Hey, be nice to close this out on a uh, on a high note. It's always you know it's good with positive progressives. Close the sh you know end the shoe in the middle while you you know you just take out all your extra chips you don't ever have to account for the fact that eventually you're going to lose negative progressives it's a little it's a little tougher to end the shoe uh in the middle of your sequence because then you have to make a decision what am i going to do at the beginning of the next shoe okay that's the cut card so that is the this will be the last hand this is what hand 49 10 hits 16 is gonna need to hit again oh one too many yeah all right 49 hands let's count them up can't really tell because I had to make change so it's harder to see 10 20 25 30. That's 35, 40, let's change one of those, one and a half, 10, 20, 30, 40, I can't count, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, one and a half, so not a great shoe, it actually, I guess it got a little, it, I didn't, it didn't feel like it was it felt like it was uh, worse. It didn't feel like it was anything close to break even, which only up by one and a half, it's pretty close to break even. A um, you know five dollar table, that's uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. You should probably just keep playing if that's all you've won. Well, that's up to you. I would, but you know what? You don't get that option here. Tables closed. Casinos closed. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, that's 40, 45, 50, up by one and a half. Sound familiar? Yeah. Exactly the same as the flat better, which means, um, you know, a couple times it got to where it got into the progression and then lost, uh, made those up exactly on its winning streaks interesting all right what do we got here these things that's one unit that's half and two quarters so this is goes like this 
makes it a little easier to count whole units. All right, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 53. Up by three, so twice the winnings of these. So 49 hands, up by three, up by one and a half, up by one and a half. So the the one win uh, to start the uh, one half up progression doubled its take, I guess. I mean, it's still small. It's still very, you know, three units, not a, not a whole lot, but it's... Hey, at least you weren't down, and you did better than the flat. Of course, you can't tell anything from one shoes. That's why we do more. Even if we do a series of seven, that's probably not enough. So keep coming back. Like and subscribe. That way you'll know uh, when I'm getting them done. All right. Thanks. Bye.